So I came across this topic called lattice multiplication. When I first saw it, I was like, lattice, what? I never heard of that in school. When I was in elementary, I'm used to the old school way of doing multiplication. Another interesting topic was box multiplication. So there's, there's a lot of new ways of multiplying numbers. And after looking into it, I was like, this stuff actually works. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do lattice multiplication. And then we're going to check the work using the old school multiplication. So let's start with a simple example. So how can we multiply 34 by 26 using lattice multiplication? First, you need to notice that we're multiplying a two-digit number by another two-digit number. So what we need is a table with two rows and two columns. And then what you want to do is you want to write the numbers at the top, 3 and 4, and then the other number on the right, 2 and 6. Next, you need to make these uh, diagonal lines. And then multiply. So first, let's multiply 3 by 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Now, notice that in this region, you have a place to enter a number here and here. Now, the way you input a 6 is you write it as 0, 6. So 0 and then 6. Now, let's multiply 4 by 2. 4 times 2 is 8, so we're going to write 0 and then 8. Now, we have 3 times 6, which is 18. So we're going to write 1, 8. And then 4 times 6 is 24. So we're going to write 2, 4. Now, what you want to do is you want to start in this region. And you want to add up the numbers in each diagonal. So here, there's only one number, so we're going to put 4. Next, add up these numbers that you see here. So we're going to add 8 plus 2, which is 10, plus another 8. So that's going to be 18. Now, the, you don't write 18, though. The, what you're supposed to do is write the 8 and then carry over the 1 instead of writing 18 there. And now we need to add these four numbers. So we have 1 plus 0, that's 1, plus 6, so that's 7, plus 1, so that's 8. Now, here is a 0, so there's no need to rewrite a 0. The answer is what you see here. So when you write your answer, you write it in this direction, going from left to right. So the answer is going to be 884. Now, let's confirm it using the old school way of doing multiplication. So first, we need to multiply 4 times 6, which is 24, carry over the 2, and then 3 times 6 is 18, plus 2, so that's 20. And then add a 0. Now let's take away the 2. And then we have 2 times 4, which is 8. And then 2 times 3 is 6. Now we need to add. 4 plus 0 is 4. 0 plus 8 is 8. 2 plus 6 is 8. So as you can see, this will give us the same answer, 884. So as you can see, lattice multiplication works. It will give you the right answer. Now, for the sake of practice, let's try another example in which we will multiply a two-digit number by another two-digit number. So for the sake of practice, feel free to try this example and uh, pause the video and work on it. So we need two columns and two rows. Now let's write the numbers 4, 6, 3, 7. And then let's make the diagonals. So 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So we're going to write that as 1, 2. And then 6 times 3, that's 18. So 1, 8. And then 6 times 7 is 42. So we're going to write 4, 2. And 4 times 7 is 28. So let's write 2 and then 8. Now, don't forget to start in this region. When you begin to add the numbers in the diagonal. So here, all we have is 2. Let's just write that. 
and then let's add these numbers. So we have 8 plus 4, which is 12, plus another 8, so that makes 20. But don't write 20 like this. Instead, write the 0 and then carry over the 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. So the sum for this diagonal is 7. And then here we only have a 1, so we're just going to write 1. And then when you write your number, you write it in this order. So our answer is going to be 1702, 1702. So let's confirm it with the old school multiplication. So let's multiply 46 by 37. So first we have 6 times 7, which is 42. So let's write the 2, carry the 4. And then it's 4 times 7, which is 28, plus 4. So 28 plus 4, that's 32. So now let's get rid of this. And for the next row, let's add a 0. And then we'll multiply 3 times 6, which is 18. Carry over the 1. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1. So that makes 13. And then we need to add. So 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 plus 8 is 10. Carry over the 1. 3 plus 3 plus 1 is 7. Bring down the 1. And so we get the same answer of 1702. Now, let's try an example where we're going to multiply a three-digit number by a two-digit number. So in this case, we need six boxes because three times two is six. So I'm going to make three columns and two rows. So on top, I'm going to put the numbers 3, 2, 5, and on the right side, 4 and 6. Now let's make the diagonal lines. And then we need one more. Okay, so now let's multiply. So we have 3 times 4, which is 12. So we're going to write 1, 2, and then 2 times 4, that's 8. But we need to write that as 0 and 8. 5 times 4 is 20, so we're going to write 2, 0. 5 times 6 is 30, and so that's going to be 3, 0. And then 2 times 6 is 12, so let's write 1, 2. And finally, 3 times 6 is 18, so we're going to write 1, 8. So as always, let's start in this region. So the first number we're going to write is a 0. And then let's add up all the numbers in this diagonal. 2 plus 3 plus 0 is 5. And then we have 2 plus 8, which is 10, plus 1, that's 11, plus 8, that's 19. But let's write the 9, carry over the 1. So 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 1, that's 4. And then here we just have a 1. So now we're going to write it in this order. So the answer is going to be 14950, or 14,950. This time, I'm going to check the work with a calculator. So 325 times 46 is indeed 14,950. Now, let's work on one more example. So let's multiply a three-digit number by another three-digit number. So this time, we're going to need three rows and three columns. So here's the first row, and here's the other two. And this is the first column, the second, and the third one. So we have the numbers 4, 3, 6, and 3, 7, 9. Now, let's draw the diagonal lines. So that's the first one. And then here's the next one, and so forth. So let's multiply 4 by 3. 4 times 3 is 12. And then we have 3 times 3, which is 9. But let's write that as 0, 9. 
and 6 times 3 is 18. So we're going to write that as 1, 8. Next we have 6 times 7, which is 42. And then 3 times 7, so that's going to be 21. And then 4 times 7, so that's 28. And then we have 9 times 6, which is 54. And then 3 times 9, that's 27. And finally, 4 times 9, which is 36. Now let's start by adding in this region. So the first number we have is a 4. And then we have a 2 plus a 5, which is a 7 plus another 7, so that's 14. So we're going to write a 4, carry over the 1, and then 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 4, so that's 13, plus 1, that's 14, and then 16 plus 6, so the total here is 22, carry over the other 2. So this is 3, 3 plus 9 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14, 14 plus 8 is 22, 22 plus 3 is 25, so let's write the 5, carry over the 2. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. And then all we have here is a 1. So now we're going to write it in this order. So the first number that we have is a 1. And then the 6, 5, 2, 4, 4. So the final answer is 165,244. And you could check it with your uh, calculator. So take a look at that when you get a chance. And that's it for this video. Now you know how to use lattice multiplication to multiply two-digit numbers or even three-digit numbers.